Journal Record editor Ted Struley joins us now with other stories making news in business this week. Ted, the price for crops affected by the drought jumped again this week. How significant was the price jump? Well, it ranged from 1 to about 3 percent. Corn went up 1 percent, um, uh, up to a wheat at 1.5 percent, and soybeans at 3 percent. Uh, something like 48 percent or or more of the country right now is uh, under a drought 24 percent under uh, an extreme or extraordinary drought condition so we think we're just going to see that number continue to rise and it will certainly affect food prices the city of el reno is enjoying a local oil and gas production boom what's happening there well, you know el reno with fewer than 17,000 residents is right at the edge of the cana woodford shale and at the moment some uh, oil field services companies, particularly Halliburton and Schlumberger, uh, are busy out there, as are some Chesapeake Energy subsidiaries. They're building new plants and expanding uh, in that field and adding hundreds of new jobs, so we may see a population uh, boom going on in El Reno soon. The Oklahoma City hotel market is surging past the rest of the nation. What's driving that? Hey, well. Um, you know, nationally, uh, for the first six months of 2011, occupancy in hotels was at about 59 percent, uh, slightly higher than it was here. This year, in the first six months nationally, it's up to just uh, 61 percent and change, but in Oklahoma, we're up to uh, over 65 percent. So uh, we think that uh, certainly all the thunder playoffs, uh, some of those things affected some hotel room nights here uh, and maybe some increased tourism, but we're still taking a look at the root causes. Governor Mary Fallon spoke to car manufacturers this week about the potential for rolling out a line of compressed natural gas cars. Our governor had a big hand in this. Uh, there are 22 states altogether who are looking at adding CNG fueled vehicles to their state fleet. So they had an event uh, with some purchasing managers and dealers will have until uh, September 7th to put in bids on the vehicles for these states. And then they'll, uh, on October 5th, uh, make the awards on those bids. So we could see a lot more CNG fueled vehicles on roads in almost half the country in the pretty near future. Ted, the Cherokee Nation is undertaking some philanthropic construction. What is the new project? Their goal is to build 300 new houses per year uh, for needy uh, members of the Cherokee Nation. The rules are that the applicants have to make at least $15,000 a year and live within that 14-county Cherokee Nation uh, jurisdictional boundary. Uh, the loans are backed by the U.S. government and uh, offer buyers a very low interest rate. They already have 950 people on the waiting list. What are you working on for next week? You know, next week the Goodyear plant down in Lawton uh, is uh, working on a plan to produce tires made from soybean oil instead of entirely from petroleum. And one of the, uh, it's supposed to get better gas mileage, but one of the other benefits they say is that it could increase the amount of uh, soy meal available and lower cattle feed prices. Ted Struley, editor of the Journal Record, thanks for your time. My pleasure.